All right, what is up, everybody? This is Isaac again, and we're here for part three of Forge War Tips. We are going to talk about uh, quest cards. All right, so the basic tip for quest cards, like, you know, 101 day one, is that, you know, you don't just want to, like, grab a quest card and then you know, just do this quest and wait and wait and wait and then finish it and then only then go and grab like another quest card, right? Obviously you want to be doing multiple quests at once or you're just not gonna get a whole lot of points. I mean this takes four turns to finish, you're playing the simple game then you know that's like 12 points, that's like three points around it's not very good, right? Seven turns you know, you might break 40 points in total, which isn't a very good score. Alright, so, what you want to do, right, is take multiple quests at once, and that's the whole point of the game, is to, like, how do you manage all these quests at the same time, right? Because you've only got a limited number of adventures. And so let's talk about how to maximize your adventure usage, right? Because that's that's the game, right? You want to take what you have and have what you have working for you as much of the time as possible to maximize your returns on your investments of weapons and whatnot. All right, so so you start with three adventures. <clears throat> um, one of the tips is that uh, let's see here. So let's take explore the mystic cave for instance right you take this quest you stick it in front of you and that first that first row right here that's just a one right all we need is a one so what do we do like we stick an adventure on there and we give them like a copper dagger but that's a problem because then like two turns later now it increases to two so now what are we gonna do now we gotta like put another adventure on there and give him a copper dagger too no no what we want to do is when we take the quest, we want to look ahead, right, and say, okay, well, I'm going to need one now, but I'm going to need two later, and eventually I'm going to need five. If I stick one guy on here with just one copper, right, that's that's a, not a very economical use of adventures. What we want to do is right off the bat, when we put that first guy down, we see, okay, we're going to need two eventually. Let's give him a copper sword instead of a copper dagger, right? And now he can sit on there for four full turns, before we gotta do anything with him. <clears throat> and then once we get to the end, we'll have to maybe add an, another guy, a second guy on there, but that's just for one round. Once we add that guy on there, then they'll finish the quest, and then I'll get those adventures back to use elsewhere. Right, so that's that's the other point, is that, you know, pretty much all of these quests, unless they're really short, they're gonna have one step at the end where you've gotta, you know, that last final push where you've gotta send in the adventures to match that strong power at the end um, you know like this one has a five at the end or even a better example right would be a trouble in the weird woods where you need a total of eight power at the end sorry that my camera can't focus very well eight power at the end with an axe right that's going to require probably three adventurers you know maybe two if you've got the wood chopper um, but it's only for that one round so an important point is that <clears throat> you want to make sure that if you've got a couple big quests going at the same time, you're not going to need to do that final push on multiple ones at the same time. right? You want to stagger those endpoints so that you can pile on a bunch of adventures here and then finish that and then pile on all those adventures somewhere else next turn and get a bunch of points for those too. I mean, obviously that's going to take the proper amount of resources, but that way you can economically use all your adventures at the same time. So let's say, right, you're on the first step. <clears throat> well, you, you took this quest last round, I guess, so I guess it has progressed to here now. And now you've got a choice for a new quest. And, you know, so you're looking at the slimes in the sewer here, um, where you need two, uh, two power on the first step, and then in three turns you're going to need five power or actually I guess that would be two turns 
right? So that's going to take at least two adventures. Five power with a mace, right? So if you take this quest now, and oops, I don't have another gold cube. Let's say that's a gold cube. And stick that on there. Now you've got both these quests that are going to end at the same time. And that's going to take like five adventures. So now either you've got to spend all your market actions getting more adventurers, or another idea might be to take the road action and push this forward one so that they're staggered. Right, so that's the whole point, is you want to stagger the ends of the big quests so that you can maximize your use of adventures. Um, I guess there's more I could talk about, but I think that's uh, that covers the basics. So I hope that was somewhat interesting to everybody, and uh, have a good evening, day, or whatever.